trees, here you go, there we are. Down at the usual here at Gizzy having a fish, it's been a long time since we've had a surf cast down here. And uh, we're fishing low tide, just the first cast on the rod. I don't know what's happening out there, but there could be something happening. Put the sunrise this morning as we do. The water's still quite warm too, I just walked out there, it's quite warm, eh? Uh, yeah. Praise Jesus for a fish, another great day in our Lord, eh? Beautiful sunny day here in Gizzy. I'll tell you what though, the tide goes out a long way. Beautiful sunrise this morning. Put my eyeballs on, I think. I have absolutely no idea when low tide is. No idea at all. Oh, jeez, he's a cracker of a day, Trebs. Oh, know what I meant to tell you, Rob? We have, as of this morning, or last night it came in actually, we have 309 genuine Trebs. Now, as I usually say, a genuine Trev is one who has subscribed. 309 genuine Trevs, and thank you very much. It's much appreciated, eh? It really is. That, Trebs? that would have to be some sort of fishy snooping around, praise Jesus, eh? hear that line singing, we know we got a good old trip. The reason I call you Trevs is because I can't remember everyone's name and I don't know everyone's name if I tried to talk to us as individuals, mate, we'd be here for a month of Sundays. So that's why you're all trebs. That way I talk to the whole lot of you. Yeah, the other thing, the last video we put up here is about me camping down the beach and cooking a fish on the fire and all that. I've got a comment from a guy who's been watching another dude who's a Kiwi, is that, um, not to use driftwood off the beach to cook your food, or some words to that effect. And, um, but, look, I've done it for years, mate, and I'm still here to tell stories. The reason he says not to do it is he believes it's toxic chemicals or something coming out of the wood. But I don't believe that because the only difference between beech wood and wood out of the bush is the salt. And we have salt on our food, like fish and chips and steak and all that sort of thing. And I've cooked food over the fire, open fires. I remember Dad used to do it down Cape Palace when we were fishing down there when we were talking, say. And um, I'm 63 this year, mate, and I'm still here to tell the story. So I don't believe one word of that whatsoever. But as far as I'm concerned, eating food that's cooked on an open fire on the beach, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, eh? Oh, I hope there's some fish out here, Chiefs. 
Seagulls and hungry troops are hanging around in their hood. Tomorrow, I was going to go and get some oysters tomorrow, Chiefs, but I think I might shoot up to Kiowa Beach and get some boo boos. That's the, uh, some people call them periwinkles or cat's eyes. Beautiful eating, eh? They really are. I might shoot up there tomorrow. Oh, look at that, Chief. Whatever it is, must be quite small. I've got a. Uh, I've only got a size 3 hook on there, right? Eh? That's quite a small hook. One thing I've noticed around here is the snappier cats are always small, eh? I might get a decent pad size, fella. Highly recommended, guys. It's good for keeping on your pippy or tour tour muscles, whatever you whatever you want to use, or a boat that um, falls apart quite easy. Just makes life a bit easier. We're going to put some pippy on now and see how we go, Trebs. These fellas, they're caught there off our natural beach just down here. Don't do with this is put it in your pocket because you'll end up with a bunch of here's your father's mate. Oh, I kid you not. Been down here pretty much, we've been here over two hours anyway because I've got the time left before quarter to seven this morning. And uh, it's now coming up almost quarter to nine. That battery's going to die very, very shortly, Trevs. Okay. So I'm going to wind in and we'll cut a track back home, have some, have a brew up and that sort of stuff. And we'll shoot up to Kiowa Beach tomorrow. Here we are fellas, we're off to Kiowa Beach, this is Tummer, you're a genuine Trev aren't you, you subscribed? Um, I haven't, I, I, I tried to find it. Hori and Rangi's adventures. Oh, Hori and Rangi, <laughs> I, I thought it was Hori and Nairi. Rangi. Rangi, I'll, 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 I'll get it today. We'll see you at Kiowa Beach Trev. Bit of a feed for us here, Trebs. Old Tummer over the road board these over. We're going to cook them up and have them for Brico. Look at that four 
feed troughs. Mmm, yummy yums. Watercress for your troughs. Mmm. Another boil up time. Bacon bones and soft bones. Mum likes the soft bones. In the watercress, eh? Yummy. New Z Ho Tutu Dog. Tribes, couple of kumara spuds in there. Yummy yums. Oh, look at that, Tribes. Wow. Mmm, home grow pumpkin, Tribes. and the spuds and the kumara and the bacon bones and the soft bones because mum loves soft bones mmm trees there you go trees bubbling away should be ready in about an hour, hour and a half I reckon For munching on that is mm. oh trees look at that that's Rangi's kai that's huge mm, she loves it look at that lady of mine out she's it. so beautiful <laughs> she's so beautiful isn't she eh? mm, trees by crikey here's old Hori's feed look at that all that water yeah, crescent looks bigger than yours mate bones Oh well, this stands to reason. Huh! Look at that wahine on mine over there, isn't she just a darling? He's a bum, eh? Look at that. Oh, stop it! <laughs> I've ruined mm, my hair. Treves, eh? Well, Treves, that didn't take too much to finish off. I could eat that again. Yep. You're welcome to the leftovers. Oh, Rangi's just about finished her kai over there. Look at my Don't! Baby. She loves it. I am done.